here we are in Newport, Rhode Island, ready to go to the Zentangle Masters class. 30 eager students in such a beautiful location. I want to share with you what some of the people are doing to hopefully inspire you to try Zentangle also. Here's everyone in the Masters class. You can see we have a fabulous venue watching Rick and Maria demonstrate everything, all our new prospects and ideas. Hi, my name is Linda Halverson and I'm going to show you um, a table. And we start right from the, the center here and I'll put a dot and I make the letter X. So, and then I put another line through it, like this. And on the same side of all of those lines, I'm going to do a leaf type shape, like so. And now I will go to the other side, but stopping at the point where that leaf has come in. And we go all the way around so it's we have now six petals all behind one another and now I start from the top of that petal and I follow that outside shape and this way and start from each tip and work your way through that into the center of your petal and you continue that all the way around and then you could add to the outside of that and this is the finished flower I'm Diane Ryan and I'm a Zentangle teacher and I've been enjoying my weekend here at Green Zentangles and I brought my Zentangle reminder bracelet with me and on my bracelet tags I have put a Zentangle and put the name on the other side. I, so I'll always remember what the designs are and what the names are because everybody's always curious. Hi, I'm Susan Smith and I'm in the process of creating an ABC book for my granddaughter who is two years old. So these are some of the letters that I've been working on. You can see the A and I'm making uppercase and lowercase letters. Here's the A, here's the B, and there's a lowercase B. I've been working on it for a number of months, trying to get the whole alphabet done. Here are a few more, F, and as you can see, K. I've used all different kinds of patterns, some that I've created on my own, some that are from Zentangle, and the actual letters are done. I'm planning on using inspirational text for each one of the letters. Um, in order to give a lifelong message for my granddaughter. Hi, I'm Howard Whiteson from Covington, Louisiana, here in Newport, Rhode Island, at the Master's Workshop for Zentangle. And I'd like to show you a tangle that I devised on the first workshop. And it's, it looks like bamboo. It forms a nice filler. So let me show you how I do it. I make three little ovals like this and then separate them thusly and then fill in the areas like this and to make a second row go about halfway between these and do your circles and they don't have to be perfect as a matter of fact it looks better if you don't and you can see I'm working fairly quickly and there you have it looks like bamboo now you can darken these in or you can do the negative space inside and they really pop out, which is what I did here at the original workshop, and that's exactly what I had uh, just described. A few notes that I made on my way home from uh, Whitensville back toward the New Orleans area and one of the tangles that we did at that first workshop. Hope you enjoy it. Make sure you tangle away. Here's Fina Mann. She came all the way from Hong Kong for the master's class. 
And of course, she's using a, um, a Chinese letter in her piece. Beautiful work. I'm Patty Euler, and I have a shop in Maryland called The Queen's Inc. And Zen Tangles have become very popular with our artists and students. So today I'm going to show you a tangle that I created, and I call it Fuzzy Wuzzy. What I do is I take a, a swirl as an extension of one of the tangles that I've done, similar to this, and then I just start feathering. I'm using a really thick nib here just to kind of show you just little short strokes. Now the critical piece of this is the shading because it then makes it look really, really feathery. And this is the end result. Here the class is working on a... <laughs> here, here members of the class are working on a group Zen tank. Hi, I'm Sandy Steen Bartholomew, and um, this is my book, Totally Tangled. And Beetlejuice is my favorite pattern from my book. And this is an example of Beetlejuice meandering all over the page. And this is my little book, Alpha Tangle, down here that I did that has each letter of the alphabet illustrated with um, different Zen tangles starting with the same letter. Okay, hi, my name is Linda, and I'm going to show you an original tangle that deals with Y initial, which is L. A tangle that starts with a dot, and it is the shape of a script L that's sort of exaggerated, and it ends with a dot as well. And then you change pens with this. I'm doing mine in black and in sepia. And you've created two loops of different sizes. And very simply take the sepia pen and draw lines as close together as you can that all come together at one place. And this is going to create some depth and interest. When you're finished with these lines, we're going to go back to the black pen and we're simply going to put dots around the outside. <laughs> Space them as evenly as you can. When you have finished both of the loops, this one's real easy. Back to the sepia. Back to the black. And then you'll simply repeat the L shape again. So this time I'll start over here. And again, you would use the sepia lines and the black dots around each of the loops.